And today we're in Guilin and we're heading to Yangshua on a first class high speed train. Alright, so you can see we just sat down, we're just heading out of Guilin. And this is, again, this is a first class compartment. There's several first class compartments, second class and business class on this train. If you miss the business class train that we took, um, I'll put a link to it right here. You can check that one out. So that's going to be a business class compartment ride. Um, so here are the first class seats. Um, right now you can see why it just got dark. We're going through a tunnel. The entire way that you're going between these two cities, you're going in and out of tunnels. No, we just came back out. So you're going in and out of tunnels. Because of these karst mountains, they had to just blast this train going through all these mountains. So it's really beautiful, really cool ride. Alright, so the train's slowing down, so I believe we're about to pull up to the Yangshua train station. See you in Yangshua! <laughs> Now we're gonna get out. Oh, uh, watch out. The train's leaving already. But these are quick. So, when you come out of the train station, you're gonna be bombarded with taxi drivers, uh, private drivers, and then there's buses. So, you can buy a shuttle bus for 20 kwai, and it's gonna be a shuttle bus that you're gonna take with a bunch of people on this big bus. You can also get a private driver. The private drivers are going to be negotiating. They're going to start high. The bottom line is when you get off, make sure you negotiate the price. Our driver now, we are sharing a van. So there's four of us, and we're each paying 20 RMB. It's about a 25 minute drive, I think, depending on the traffic. 35 kilometers. 35, so it's 35 kilometers to get there. Later that same evening. We're driving right now to head out into the country to go watch the sunset. We're not sure if we're going to make it. But driving along the highway now, trying not to get killed by all these cars and e-bikes. <coughs> pollution. <laughs> pollution in Berlin. No pollution? No, no any pollution. Look at all these show. look at all these cars. Alright, so we've made it to Yangshou. We checked into our hotel and really quickly we dropped off our stuff, grabbed an e-bike. Uh, you can rent an e-bike for several hours for 40 RMB. You could probably negotiate, but that's how much we have time. Yeah, we don't have time. So we came over here to the Li River. What's the bridge called? Did you mention the Chinese name? It's the Gong Long Chao, Gong Long Bridge. Yeah, so it's a good spot to see the sunset. So you can see there's a lot of people that come here and hang out, get photos uh, everywhere around us. So it looks like some clouds are rolling in, it's going to start raining. So we're going to head down to uh, West Street, right? And we're going to go get, some, go get some food. What food are you looking forward to at West Street? Maybe still the sticky rice. So sticky rice right? in the bamboo? Yeah, in the bamboo. Maybe today we can get the bamboo chicken. Okay, yeah. I'm down for whatever. Alright, so here we go. We're going to head to Main Street. You ready, Nina? Here we go. Heading back to Yang, Indiana show. Beautiful here in the country. All right, so we had just left the bridge and we're heading back into town and we found a cool spot right along the highway and it was getting dark. So we figured, okay, let's just stop here and grab some food. Who did you? Ah, oh, the, the butterfly spring. Okay. Is that a name? So out front, they're barbecuing some of the traditional local rice. One of them is like a sticky rice and a piece of bamboo. I mean, the other one is a bigger piece of bamboo and inside is the local specialty here in uh, Yangshua. So you can see this big piece of bamboo that's on top of the fire. So that's what they're actually cooking the chicken in. So it's cut up pieces of chicken inside some soup. And so they've got it on the barbecue right now. Every time we come to Yangshuo, we want to try like beer fish. It's the famous food here too. Maybe tomorrow. Beer fish? Yeah. Okay, it's, yeah. It's also the local dish. Yeah. All right, so we got our chicken soup right now. So what's inside of it? They have the goji berry, the red dates. 
and our chicken. Yes, What's this? Your favorite? The chicken head? Yeah. Yes. Maybe I can find chicken the others. Feet. Your favorite thing? Oh, it's the chicken feet. Yeah. All right, so the next dish that we had was some sticky rice that's cooked inside some bamboo. So this has a few different ingredients. The main, obviously, is sticky rice. Then we've got pieces of corn, pork, it's like smoked pork. And then last is some uh, diced up taro. You can see it's some little pieces of taro. So all that together is cooked inside of this bamboo over the fire. And it's also really good. It's a little bit on the pricey side. Uh, I think on the menu it's for 128 RMB. I think we, we talked her down a little bit. But if you come to Yangshui, I think it's important that you try you know, this, beer fish, or maybe this same dish, but it has fish instead of chicken, because it's kind of a local traditional dish. So I think it's important to at least try it once if you do come to Yangshui. So we've arrived at West Street here in Yangshu and we're gonna go and basically walk through the street, show you what it looks like. So Vina, what are you looking forward to to see here in uh, West Street? The small potatoes. Small potatoes? They've got these little uh, fried potatoes that are really good. All right, so here we go, here's West Street. Wow, you look the same. the end of the kind of the main drag the main street of West Street down here it's a little more calm a little bit of bars a little bit of uh, shopping a little bit of food but it's definitely a lot more calm down here towards the end So it's the morning now. We're back on West Street here in Yangshu, and we're basically just walking around exploring in the daytime. So last night you can see, you know, the nighttime view. It's really beautiful at nighttime. What do you think, now? Yeah, I, I really enjoy the nighttime, the light, and uh, every store has a, a lot of uh, cool things. Yeah, there's a ton of stuff to see and shopping. So I definitely recommend coming during the day and at nighttime. So let's walk around and see now that it's daylight. Okay, 
All right, so we're pretty much finishing up here in Yangshou, walking around. Personally, I had a really good time exploring. What about you, Nan? Did you have a good time? I enjoyed it too. Uh, what did you like about Yangshou? Uh, I think like, it's a good place to get a gift for my family. Mm -hmm. I got a couple of gifts gift for my, for my nephew and my niece. Yeah, cool. So we really recommend that you come here, check out Yangshou. Take the high-speed train to come here. First class is definitely nice. Again, thanks for watching. Hit subscribe if you haven't. I upload new adventure travel videos every week. And remember, life's about the journey, not just the destination. Stay tuned.